I'm going to share with you five important tips I wish I knew before I applied for a tourist visa going to Japan. It will save you tons of time and a little bit of money. The third tip is for traveling with family, so you better stick around. All right, here we go, coming in hot. Tip number one, don't go to Japan Embassy. What I mean is don't go there and ask for application form and list of requirements. The security guard will not let you in, but he will hand you these forms. The list of requirements and the application form. Instead, go to Japan Embassy website. The link is in the description below and you can download and print the documents. Step number one. Download and print the list of requirements form and the visa application form. Tip number two, keep your passport handy as you need it to fill details in the visa application form. Step number two, the easiest, make a copy of your passport. Step number three, request for a salary certificate from your employer. Step number four, print the last three months of your bank statements reflecting three months of your last salaries. Step number five, photocopy your confirmed flight booking. Step number six, copy proof of your hotel booking. Requirement number seven, you should have a travel itinerary or daily schedule plan. Shoot me an email if you need a sample. Step number eight is your emergency ID copy. And the last requirement, step number nine, is your visa copy. Tip number three is for traveling with family. You can just have one copy of flight details, accommodation, booking, and bank statement, and daily itinerary for all members of the family because you are traveling together as a group. In my experience, the lady in the counter just gave me back those extra documents. Tip number four, do not use staples. Instead, use paper clip as they need your documents to feed through a scanner. Furthermore, do not forget to glue your photo on the visa application form. Tip number five, there is no appointment required for submission of document. Head to Japan Embassy and make sure you dress appropriately. And that's it. All you have to do is to wait for business days for your visa to be processed. You will receive a receipt with a date and time when you can collect your passport. I hope you found valuable information in this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until the next, have a good one.